Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the GE Security number DHARMC. This is a replacement cone, they call it. This would be the replacement base and armature for just electromagnetic door holders is what this is, and you're going to very, very commonly see these items installed in uh, applications where you need um, a, uh, a means by which to hold open a door, uh, most likely a fire door, and do so in such a way that will, in an overall sense, be compliant with uh, your NFPA 80 standards if they're adopted into code, which they're most likely going to be in great swaths of that standard. Uh, so what we're what I'm trying to say is you'll have a pair of doors or a single door, but very commonly a pair of doors, and they're going to be held open all the time. They will be fire doors. They'll be cross corridor. They will be doors that are along the path of emergency egress, all those fire rated walls. The corridor in which you are to leave a building, um, those will all need to be fire rated um, to whatever the requirement is for that building. However, there are three cardinal rules to fire doors. They must be self-closing, self-latching, and free swinging. Well, a door holder is not self-closing, but this, a door holder, an electromagnetic holder is compliant when you have an input from, let's say, a fire alarm panel um, or something else that is basically telling the magnet to open the opening the circuit to the magnet so that the closing device on the door can then do its manual job. So that's the point of this. Now, why would you buy just the base and the armature? Well, you know, the doors were, were taken off. Well, they probably weren't taken off because they, they can be. If it's a fire door, you have to have doors there. So let's, in this instance, just say that the doors were painted and they were not removed. They were manned at all times during the painting process, all their hardware was left intact, uh, latching hardware, except that this was removed to paint under it. Well, the, someone put it on the cart and someone took the cart down and threw all the old parts out, that sort of scenario. The bottom line is pieces like this do go missing. And it's uh, interesting uh, in the circles of door and frame, fire door inspection, uh, services that people like myself and others certainly provide. There's lots of creative ways to hold a door open. We've seen pictures of all kinds of ways uh, when you're lacking this piece, like a chain, zip ties. I recently saw a picture of someone using zip ties to hold the door open. Um, so be mindful. Here's the proper hardware to make you code compliant. Uh, this is a very generic design, and there is a link below this video to the cut sheet. And let's switch to the uh, screen view so we can take a look at that cut sheet. Now, here is the item that we are looking at. And here's that cut sheet that I've referred to. And that's going to show you an overview of their door holders. There's not really a lot involved here. Okay, You have a door magnet. Uh, pardon me, you have a wall magnet, real, uh, realistically. You're going to have variations that exist on this material, meaning you can mount them flush to the wall, okay, in a single gang format sort of wall plate. You can then surface mount them. Here's a surface mount box in order to do so. You're going to have your armature. You are going to have the, po the potential for extensions that exist here as well, okay? And here are those, here's an exploded view of what our part looks like. Now, there is no extension inherently included in our, what they call, catch plate assembly. Um, but you can add a one-inch extension or a three-inch extension, or you can add combinations of these. And be mindful, you need to use these parts in order to be UL listed, to be code compliant. And it's between the base and the armature, which when energized, connects to the electromagnet here is where you'll see the creative solutions, the chains, the zip ties, things of that nature. So be mindful that all this is available. Now, the dimension of this item is, let's, we'll switch back to the 
uh, to the camera view. But before we do that, be mindful of this link to the manufacturer's page, which I'll bring to your attention in a moment. Now I would normally have taken the dimensional properties of this already, but here they are. Overall diameter of the base, about two and a half. Of the armature plate itself, it's about two inch. Now we hold this together so that it's basically flat. The dimension from the face of the uh, armature to the to to the you know let's just say the back of the door. If this if this portion, if my hand here is the door from the door to the armor plate or the armature, it's about two inch. So you can extend that by one inch increments, by three inch increments. This is a very generic design um, and you would not have too much trouble uh, being able to um, come up with the actual extension that you require. A couple of fasteners are included and that's for the base that is going to be mounted to the door itself. These obviously may or may not be the appropriate fasteners. For your application, just be mindful to use fasteners made of steel if you're swapping them out. Um, because certainly um, under the duress of a fire door um, audit by a fire door inspector, it would be considered proper for an inspector to actually take a magnet and make sure that those screws are actually steel, that they're not aluminum rivets, that they're not drywall screws, things of that nature. Um, and that is, this, I don't, this is going to a school district. So um, in the northern part of Illinois, um, and absolutely these places are going to be under the obligation of annual fire and egress door, uh, safe, uh, egress door inspections. Uh, so having the proper material most certainly is, uh, is why they're purchasing you know the right stuff going to a school who knows the kids could have torn it off um, whatever I was certainly incredibly guilty of such um, abhorrent behaviors when I was uh, substantially younger and it's irony at its finest that I will um, spend the rest of my life uh, working to replace hardware helping people replace hardware that's been vandalized and torn off by students any questions? And by the way, these are sold as each. Any questions on the GE Security DH-ARMC replacement cone or base and armature in a chrome type finish or any other GE Security product, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Now, finally, that link to the manufacturer's page will allow you to see not only all of the GE Security products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to their current catalog that's there. And thank you very much.